This one simple LED four foot tube does it all. You know me, I don't like to spend a lot of time on fluff, but I do like to try to cover all the bases so you don't leave here with more questions than answers. We make simple videos on all of our products so you know how our products work. So let's get right to it. You want to reduce energy costs and improve lighting. In some cases, as much as three times the light for one half the energy consumed. We got this. Today I'm going to show you our new A plus B LED tube to retrofit your existing fluorescent fixture or work in a fixture that has already been converted. Let me say it in a different way. If your fixture is fluorescent and you want it to be LED, this will do it. And if your fixture has already been converted, this will work in that fixture too. It works most everywhere. So all four foot fixtures and most all you bend two by two fixtures out there works with this one simple tube. It works in fluorescent fixtures that have a T8, not a T12, ballast in them. You know, like this one. It works in fluorescent fixtures that have already been converted or set up for dual end fed type LED tubes, like this one here. It works in fluorescent fixtures that have already been converted or set up for a single end fed type LED and use single end fed bulbs. They've been around since before 2009. Here's one here as an example of one of those. It works in U-bend fixtures, ones with T8 ballasts, and ones that have been converted to a single end or dual end fed bulbs. Yes, all three types. Now, if your fixtures are old T12 tubes, we have to convert them to rid yourself of that energy sucking ballast that's in them. You will know them. They say T12 right on the bulb and right on the ballast. But if you have to change or remove the socket or tombstones because they're old and nasty, and they may be, we can help you with that easily. One more thing, if you have a two foot or eight foot fixture with an eight foot bulb in it, we have solutions for those in our other videos. See our quick tool on how to do that. We're the only ones that offer this resource. Take a look, it'll save you a ton of time and money. In the next segment, I'm gonna drill down for you on more specific fixtures so you can get a closer look and a much clearer picture. So this is an overview on the tubes and we're gonna of course focus on our newest one, which is this one, but let me kind of run down them. First of all, all of these are T8 tubes. Um, how do I know that? Well, I know that really by the diameter of the tube, a T8 tube is one inch in diameter. Uh, we get a lot of calls and emails regarding T12 tubes, and they're much bigger. They're an inch and a half in diameter, and they're very old. Nobody makes them anymore. There's still a lot of fixtures out there that have T12 tubes in them, and we see a lot of conversions for those, converting to LED. T12 is incredibly inefficient. The ballast inside the T12 puts out a lot of heat, so a lot of your electricity is making heat. The T8 ballast also put out heat, but not near as much as the old T12 energy pigs. So. If you have a T12 out there, it's time to replace it. And while we're on T12s, the sockets for the T12s are the same size as the socket for the T8. Now there's a number of kinds, like you'll see here in this light fixture. There's one in here, very different, very different look. So if your sockets or tombstones are all nasty and black and brittle, you need to replace them and they're very inexpensive and easy to replace. We just need to see what kinds you have and we'll know. So the goal of this part of the video is to go through the tubes. So let's do that. So this first tube here, and you all know it, it's a fluorescent tube and it's a glass tube. They're all glass now. And this tube puts out light in every direction. Okay. So there's no filament inside. It puts out light in every direction. This is a fluorescent tube and they made bazillions of them in all kinds of types. So that tube was replaced pretty much with this tube. And this is an LED tube. And the LEDs are inside here on a string, a string, I guess we'd say a tape. They go all the way down the tube. So this tube becomes somewhat directional. It has a back and a front. They let you know about the back because they stuck a big ugly label on the back of the tube. So the label obviously goes up towards the ceiling and the clear side shines all the light down. So while we're here on this tube, this is a direct replacement tube or as they call it a type A. So this tube will work in this fixture with this T8 ballast in it. So it's an easy conversion to make. Take your fluorescent tubes out, put in your new LED tube, and these are sold at all the, the big box stores. And that, that's a great easy solution. The problem is 
this ballast is going to fail. Guaranteed. 100% guaranteed. So you buy this tube and you put it in that light fixture and everything's great for a while and then this fails. Now you have a ballast that doesn't work and you have tubes that don't work. Not the best way to go, but it's okay. And I'll tell you why here in a minute. We have a solution. The next one line is a type B and this is called a single end fed tube. And the way this one works is you remove the ballast, you run the power down to one end of the fixture, the other end's dead. Just leave the sockets down there. It doesn't do anything except hold the light bulb up, of course. So on this tube, the single end fed, and we have a whole video about these and how to do it and how to put it in and how to wire it and all that stuff. And the next one that came, finally, is the dual LED tube. And we like this one. This is really nice. It's real simple. I like simple. You take the ballast out of your fixture, and of course we have a video all about this, and you rewire your fixture to accept this tube. Now this tube has power coming in from both ends. So one end is hot, the one down at the other end is neutral. So you wire that for neutral, wire it all together, then wire, wire this fixture side together, and you can put this light bulb in to get a ton of light. Really, really nice. And again, we have a whole video on this too. So take a look at that. I put this one here because it's clear and you can see the LEDs inside the tube. And they're all really done like that. Just, just happens to have a clear tube. And these are used quite often on really high ceilings. You don't want the frost in the way. You want to get as much light out as possible. They're very bright. They're very harsh. But they're very effective. Now finally, the tube. This tube here replaces all of these. It works the same way as all of these. So this tube will work in this fixture with the ballast. And this tube will work in this fixture if you rewire it. And you can rewire it in two different ways. You can rewire the fixture for a single end and this tube will work. And you can wire this fixture for dual end and this tube will work. So no matter the setup with a ballast, without the ballast, single end, dual end, you have a working tube. And this is our newest tube and it's called an AB tube. So it basically, this one tube gets rid of these three, well, actually four, and this replaces all of them. And we have a lot of detail on our website about this tube and how to use it and where to use it and all of that. So I wanted you to know, and while I was here talking about tubes, I thought I'd mention one more thing. Some of the um, utility companies across the country give a rebate if your tube is DLC. Let me turn this around here. Most all of our tubes are DLC rated. But before you go after the energy rebate, get all of your ducks in a row. Don't buy the tubes and put them in and then call the inspector out. Because what he's going to do is he's going to go on the internet and he's going to put in that number right there to get your DLC approval rating. And if it's not on the internet, he's not going to sign off. You're not going to get your money. So just watch out if you're looking for DLC before you jump, jump into that, get all the facts together. And again, on our website, we go into great detail. So thanks for watching this segment, and now I'm going to move on to the next one. In this segment, we're going to kind of look at a two-lamp fixture. This is one I just got down the hill at my local Ace. It has a really good name brand uh, ballast in it. It should last for quite a while. And with our new tube, we can use it in this fixture. Um, and later on, I can take the ballast out and keep the tube just by doing a simple rewire. We have a video on how to rewire a two lamp um, fixture. When I got this fixture, it's like, well, what are these sockets all loose for? It's like, duh, um, take the socket. It has this little thing here sticking out, this little tab. Take the socket, push it up, lock them in place. All the sockets lock in place. They're not all like 100% locked in place, but they lock in place enough so when you put the, the cover back on this, they won't go floating around inside the light fixture. So please do check out our two lamp rewiring for when you take the ballast out and you want to make your two lamp fixture into a all LED fixture. It's really, really simple. Thousands of people have done it with us um, all over everywhere. So please do take a look at that. But I wanted to give you an idea of how the new AB LED tube works. And people are always asking us to turn on the fixture so they can see it. Hard to see this way, but let's do it. So here's a, a two lamp fixture with the ballast. The ballast is down inside right there. I took the cover away so you could see it. It's right in there. And uh, the AB lights here, I put them in opposite directions on purpose so you can see how they work even when they're put in, I guess, backwards, but there really is no backwards. So here we go. There they are. And I'm gonna shut them off. And I'm gonna take them out real quick so you can see what's behind them. 
And this is a really inexpensive light fixture I bought. Really, really cheap, but it does have a good ballast and we we're pretty happy with that. And of course, when the ballast fails, you can rewire this fixture to use a dual end setup. Keep everything else, just take the ballast out and rewire it. And we do have a video on that. This is a four lamp fixture, and this is actually one right out of the shop. It's usually right above my head here in the work area. It's been, it's been rewired a few times actually. But I wanted to show it to you because it's so incredibly simple. So you'll have a two lamp, three lamp, four lamp, six lamp fixture, all wiring basically the same as this one. And again, we can use our new tubes in here. The new tubes work with, with a ballast, without a ballast, single end, double end wiring, it doesn't matter, the new tube works. But I wanted to show you the wiring because it's really dirt simple. So we took the ballast out and we have a full video on this, I'll show you every step. We took the ballast out, we got rid of that, we cut the wires and we took all the wires from one end and you can see here in my hand, we joined them all together and we didn't care what color they were or anything. We just took all the wires from this side, joined them together. Then on the other side, down here where these yellow ones go to, we took those wires and joined them together. doesn't matter. So left, right, just wire them separately like that. And then we brought in our power and our power is always black and white. Those, those feeds coming in, see here, black and white. So we brought the power in and we took the white and fed one end of the fixture. We took the black, we fed the other end of the fixture. We're all done, it's all sealed up. And that's as simple as it is. And we treat, keep trying to go over this with people, but they just have trouble. So we thought visually this would be good to show left, right, black, white, done. Don't worry about what color all these wires are over here or over here. Separate your light fixture. Put in your either dual end tube or our new tube, which works in every combination. Put your tubes in and you're ready to go. And people want to see it on. So that's actually a dual end fed light bulb. And these are the new AB tubes going here. So there they are, all, all on. This one obviously was put in upside down. And so is this, see how the LED tape is facing the wrong way. So you take this and turn it around with the power off. Um, but I wanted you to see that. I wasn't paying attention when I put them in. That one was right, and these two are wrong, and this one's right. So dual end fed, AB bulb, AB bulb upside down, AB bulb upside down, just turn them around. This is a factory designed light fixture that was designed for the single end fed tubes. And those are the tubes where there's two pins on one end and one is hot and one is neutral. And we have a full video on how those are done and how they're wired and what they look like inside. This fixture actually never had a ballast. It, it came very bare, just like you kind of see it here. Now we have power coming in here from the back and there is your, your neutral, there's your hot, and down here is the ground connected to the fixture. You always want to have a ground. And what they have here is they have non-shunted sockets and you can kind of see where they're jumping, jumping, they come in the end here, they jump from one socket to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And this is a factory installed setup. So here's what the sockets look like, where neutral's on one side and hot is on the other. So what they've done is there's enough holes here where they can jump. And this is one method of doing it. Now, we never sold a kit that looked like that because there's too many variables. The video that we have where we take a light fixture and do a single end feed on it, um, we actually have these wires that come all the way out, connect, make a connection out here. It's an easier way to do it. It's a little more wiring, um, but it's clean in a way where it works with almost every light fixture. But I wanted you to see this one. And the point I'm making is it's a single end fed, so everything's going one direction. And on the other end of the light fixture, let me move it for you. It's just the sockets. And the sockets here are, are to hold the bulbs, the other end of the bulbs. No wire going at this, this end at all. So single end fed fixture. Now, if you have one of these up there, our new bulb will fit it. The AB bulb will work in this fixture, just as it works in the dual end fixture, just as it works in the ballasted fixture. That's kind of the point. Anyway, I wanted you to see this fixture. It's nice and clean and the other one on our website on our other video is a little different on the inside just by its wiring but the concept is the same so i'm going to turn it on i didn't put all the bulbs in it would blind the camera um, but at least you can see that the ab tube is um, in this fixture working fine so it works in all three fixtures and of course i've removed the reflector and the covers and all that stuff so you can see the inner inner guts of the light fixture hope that helps a little bit for you the new AB 
tube, the universal tube, works in most all of the U-bend fixtures. On the T12 fixtures with the big bulbs, you're going to have to use a different clip in the fixture, which we provide too. But all the U-bend fixtures can be converted to the new AB tube. Just wanted to do a couple of notes here towards the end. Some of the questions we get and we get them all the time. So first one is shunted versus non-shunted. We have an entire video on this. And now with our new tube, it's really not an issue at all. You can use whatever tombstones that you already have in your light fixture, as long as they're in good shape. So we're not gonna go into a bunch of details, but there is a video on it. It goes into great detail if you'd like to see that. We get a lot of questions, clear versus frosted. So I kind of like a clear tube in a fixture with a lens. So it breaks it down. They're very harsh or a clear tube at a really high ceiling, like in a warehouse where you just need a ton of light. You're not looking to be fancy. So the frosted works really good, say in a church. You wouldn't want a clear tube ever in a church. It's just too harsh. The frosted does break the light down really good, um, diffuse it out and makes it a little softer. The other question is 4,000K versus 5,000K color temperature on the tube. So we have both. The 5,000K would be really good in, again, in the warehouse, a workshop, an auto mechanic, a wood shop, places where you just need a ton of light. The 4,000K is a softer, more natural light, churches, classrooms, a kitchen maybe, uh, 4,000K works there. Anything above 4,000K is ugly in a kitchen. Also, don't use don't use the 5000K in a classroom ever. We had one one customer who did that and it didn't didn't work well for him. Watch out for the term full spectrum. Anyone using full spectrum in their advertising doesn't know lighting and I don't suggest you buy from them. It's not a real term, it's an advertising term. It's not used by lighting professionals. Lighting is measured in lumens, which is the light output of the light source the color temperature or the warmth of the, the color, and the ability to render color or color rendering, CRI. Color rendering, color temperature, and lumens are not related to each other. Not necessarily if you increase one, the others get better or worse. And then finally, wattage. Everyone thinks wattage has something to do with brightness. It doesn't. Wattage is purely a measure of consumption. That's what wattage is. And what we're trying to do is get our consumption of power down um, and save some money. If you have some positive, helpful comments or can take this discussion even further, we'd love to hear from you. We try to cram as much as we can in these videos, but we don't want to make them an hour long either. Make sure you see our more detailed videos and specifics on all the LED retrofit projects and products. Our full library of videos, drawings, recommendations, quantity pricing, parts and details are located at our retrofit tool. It's the place where everything is explained and updated. If you're looking to do a fluorescent to LED retrofit on your fixtures, this is the place to start. Please see the link below or email us and we'll send it to you. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.